Hello everyone, Ace here, and today it's time for yet another recap on the current state of Xbox simulation. And in all honesty, I'm looking forward to what 2021 will end up ultimately providing, especially given the fact that the Xbox will turn 20 years old this November. But for those of you who are unaware, there are currently two different emulators that are under active development, specifically CXBX Reloaded and XKeyMu. And starting with CXBX Reloaded, I would have to say that a considerable amount of progress has been made when it comes to first and third person shooters. As not only has the emulation been improved for games such as Mech Assault, to the point that Mech Assault is pretty much emulated perfectly now, but in addition to this other games such as Red Dead Revolver, Time Splitters 2, Call of Duty Finest Hour, and even 007 Nightfire have seen their emulation improved, to the point that they are now all playable albeit with graphical or audio issues here and there. But it wasn't just third and first person shooters that saw this improvement, as other notable titles such as Crimson and Sky's High Road to Revenge, Loon's Battle for Fame, and Bloodwake have also seen improvements to their emulation as well to the point that they are playable. In addition, other games such as Kung Fu Chaos, Fusion Frenzy, Blinks the Time Sweeper, and Nightcaster have also received emulation improvements, although due to severe graphical issues or frame rate issues, or both, are not, in my opinion, in a playable state yet. But you should also keep in mind that this is by far not a comprehensive list, and there are certainly a fair few other games that have received improvements as well, but the main takeaway is that CXBX Reloaded had a big year in 2020 when it came to the amount of improvements made. But moving on to XKeyMu, there is unfortunately comparatively less to talk about. But on the bright side, what there is to talk about is the fact that the performance has been considerably improved on that particular emulation. So games such as the original Halo do run noticeably nicer on it. But unfortunately, the biggest problem with trying to use XKeyMu at this point is the lack of audio support for public builds. Builds. Now to be fair, this is understandable given the fact that the developers behind XKeyMu have already stated in the past that they plan to make audio support one of the last features implemented once they fix everything else, but it is nevertheless something to keep in mind. In addition, it's also important to keep in mind the fact that XKeyMu and CXBX Reloaded require the games to be in completely different formats to run in the first place, as CXBX Reloaded requires them to be in a .xbe configuration, while XKeyMu by contrast requires an ISO format instead, which means that the player is effectively required to have two different versions of the exact same game if they wish to try out both emulators and compare and contrast them. But having said all that, it may actually be worth doing, because while there's been relatively little news with XKeyMu from 2020, it does appear that the developers may actually be rather close to releasing a build that supports audio. And in my opinion, the moment that such a build becomes available would be the moment that XKeyMu would get a recommendation over CXBX Reloaded, at least on higher end PCs. But until then, I would say that CXBX Reloaded is still worth having a look at regardless, as it not only is more customizable and easier to get into, but currently has a decent selection of games that run relatively well on it, and others that may see vast improvements in the coming months. So hopefully 2021 will not only be a better year than 2020, but also be a good year specifically for Xbox emulation as well. However, only time will be able to tell in this matter. In any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care, ASAP.